you know, I have to agree with doing a load test on this Ames Pure Sine Wave Inverter, 300 watts, 12 volt DC to 120 volt AC. For this load test, I'm going to be using two of my shop fans, quite noisy. And here's my bench test setup. Got the 12 volt battery, got the little voltmeter up there showing how many volts I got, 12.7. Hooked into the ring terminals on the back of the Ames inverter. Got a watt meter set up. Got my test probe set up. Sitting at about 118 volts starting off with no load. Got the two fans plugged into a power strip. And I also used my camcorder, but I didn't have the oscilloscope set up correctly for measurement. So I can that at the end of the video. All right, everything's turned on. Watt meter says about 235 watts. Tugging on the battery about down to about 12 volts. About 23 amps or so being pulled off the battery. I just turned it off. Now watch this. I'm going to I use my other camera. Watch this waveform. See there? It's turning from 0 watts to 235 watts. Nothing happened to that waveform. Or very little. And on the right side I've got the graticule set for measure. <clears throat> Excuse me, so you can actually see the numbers on this 50 megahertz oscilloscope. See right there, a little bit of noise when I switched off. But not bad. Not bad. One great little inverter. Really holds the load. Maintains voltage. See, I just turned it on. Kind of sinks the voltage down a little bit, but just kind of goes right back up. Pretty cool test, huh? Alright guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.